During the 5th and 6th centuries BCE, a period of time which we may call the dawn of Western philosophy and science, a group of philosophers called the Pre-Socratics began to question a number of established beliefs about the nature of reality and their place in it. Many people during this time just simply accepted whatever they were told about their lives, the meaning of life on earth, and ultimate reality itself. Of course, as in any age, these people had experienced some inexplicable things for which no one had answers. So for these things and whatever else they didn't understand, they ascribed to the actions and whims of the gods. Take for instance the phenomena of lightning. We can speak of it today from a privileged scientific perspective, but could you imagine what lightning must have looked like to a pre-scientific primitive people? It must have been a frightening experience. So what could counter this fear of nature? And what could reestablish a sense of control and security for these ancient people? Answer, of course, the gods. It must be the gods who were behind the seemingly inexplicable phenomena. So, for instance, when they saw lightning in ancient Greece, they invented angry Zeus with his wild spears of thunderbolts to explain away the inexplainable. The pre-Socratics moved away from these mythological ways of interpreting the world. They challenged the poets of old, the stories that Hesiod and Homer recounted about the actions of the gods and their influence upon human life. The pre-Socratics dared to use their reason in order to offer an alternative way of uh, looking at mysterious phenomena. And I was not exaggerating when I said this before, so I'll say it again. This way of perceiving things can be called, without any hyperbole, the dawn of Western science. For instead of recounting the same old myths, this alternative way replaced mythological accounts of mysterious phenomena with empirical and rational explanations of them. And with this change, we find the beginning of the creation of scientific models for establishing physical laws, which would become even more rigorous after the influence of Aristotle and the creation of his school, the Lyceum. Mm -hmm.